It's wonderful to have family traditions during the holiday season, but sometimes those family traditions involve cooking foods that we don't cook on a regular basis. So I'm going to give you some tips today on how to really get the most out of your La Cornu range when it comes to cooking things like large cuts of prime rib, big beef filet roasts, and delicious braises such as brisket. You have all the tools you need at hand. It's just a matter of really knowing how the range will best support your cooking and helping you bring the whole feast together. Prime rib is definitely one of those meals that takes the centerpiece for holiday entertaining. Now we always like to get bone-in roasts. It's so easy to actually carve the meat off the bone, but when you cook it on the bone, it cooks very evenly. You get a lot more flavor. And what do you do with those bones? Well, of course, you make stock. Now the reason you like to cook prime rib slowly is so that the meat stays uniformly pink throughout. Remember, with convection, the heat circulates around the food, cooking it from the edge to the core. So the more even you keep the heat, the more evenly you cook the meat. Now you'll see that we have our prime rib on a rack in a shallow pan. And the reason we do this is because if you put the meat directly on the pan, as the pan gets hot, it starts to leach moisture out of the food. And where do you want all that moisture to stay? In the meat. Now in terms of the actual temperatures and timing, when I've done a nine and a half pound prime rib like this one, I've actually found in the La Cornu oven that I like 300 degrees is just a perfect temperature. So I'm going to cook it for about two hours at 300 degrees. I'm going to check it then with an instant read thermometer. If it's at the internal temperature that I want, which is 135, I'm going to increase the temperature to render the fat and crisp the crust. Once I did try getting um, a digital readout thermometer, and surprisingly enough, we all noticed that that small wire disturbed the seal of this fabulous oven. That's why I like to guesstimate the time, check the internal temperature, and then go from there. If you're worried about cooking your prime rib in the oven and you're fortunate enough to have a La Cornu rotisserie, then you have another option. You can simply load the prime rib onto the rotisserie and let it cook low and slow for a couple of hours and it'll be just as beautiful. Remember the weight limit for the rotisserie is 12 pounds. When you know that you're going to be cooking a large cut of meat that will take a couple of hours, then time your side dishes so they'll be ready to serve when you're ready to serve the meat. One of the dishes that is a classic to pair with prime rib is scalloped potatoes. We have made something similar, but ours is a butternut squash gratin. Definitely needs to be cooked in advance because you need a good hour or so to really let those vegetables cook through. We take our beef out of the oven when it uh, reaches an internal temperature between 130 to 135. It needs a good 20 minutes resting time. What do we do then? Time to make the side dishes. We do want to make a classic red wine reduction sauce for the beef, and that takes a good hour. So perhaps when your butternut squash gratin goes into the oven, you can start the sauce. Simply sweat the shallots in the pan towards the side of the plaque. You don't want those shallots to burn. And then you're going to add your red wine and you're going to reduce the sauce and then you're going to add a little bit, bit of beef stock and reduce it again. It's very easy to make, it just takes time. For our vegetables, we are making some pan roasted baby beets, golden beets and red beets. And we're going to let those cook through a little bit. And then we're going to fold in the beet tops. And we're also going to serve our beef with some beautiful, quickly sauteed garlic broccoli. Beef filet is another really popular cut of meat for holiday entertaining. So when you have a cut of meat that's as tender as beef filet, but that doesn't have the fat, it can be quite challenging to cook. You've got this amazing heat with the La Cornu gas oven, this circulating convection. So take it low, take it slow, and you'll get great results. 
We like to give the beef a little flavour, so we massage it with some really good olive oil, some kosher salt, some fresh garlic, chopped rosemary. Really give it, infuse it with some flavour the day before and it will really, really taste good. So once again, we're using the rack in the shallow pan. We're going to cook our beef fillet at 300 degrees. This is a six pound roast, it's the entire fillet. We're going to allow approximately an hour and a half cooking time. When the beef has reached about 129, 130, 131, it's time to turn up the temperature. We'll put the oven temperature up to 400 degrees so we get a bit of sizzle and extra flavor. Of course, remember, the meat will have to rest for a good 15 to 20 minutes before slicing, so time the preparation of your side dishes to coincide when the beef is going to be ready to serve. So for our side dishes, we're making this delicious savory bread pudding. It's a great recipe we found at Food & Wine and it involves shiitake mushrooms and um, spinach, of course, a little cheese. And we just pop them in the oven. They take about 30 to 35 minutes. We're doing ours in individual ramekins because the presentation is so much nicer. Our other side dish is pan-roasted potatoes with treviso. It goes very well with the richness of the beef and the roasted potatoes. When it's almost time to serve, you'll heat your oil up on the stove. When it's nice and hot, you add the potatoes because that's what gives you the crisping and the browning. Then just fold in the treviso so it wilts slightly. You don't want to overcook it. Now, it's really nice to offer a sauce with um, a simple cut of meat like the beef filet. So for our sauce, we have just sauteed some onions and a little bit of butter and oil. And we're stirring in some cream and, well, we're just going to make it delicious. People can have a little puddle of that with their beef and their delicious vegetables and their bread pudding. What a meal you've made. When we cook brisket or any type of braise, the actual preparation of the meat is very quick. We uh, saute some vegetables, we're going to sear the brisket to render the fat, and then we're going to add the two together with some stock, little wine for extra flavor, a little um, fresh herb bouquet garni. And when we place the pan in the oven, we actually don't need a lid. The La Cornu range oven has a beautiful cast aluminum seal on the inside of the door. And this seal locks in this amazing balance of heat and humidity. But what I do make sure of is I raise the rack to the middle position because if the rack is too low to the floor of the oven, then the more intense heat can evaporate my liquids a little too quickly. Once we have the braise going, we're going to allow about an hour and a half to cook it. Our piece of brisket's only small, it's only two and a half pounds. Because it takes about an hour and a half to two hours to braise a piece of brisket, you can easily do it earlier in the day or the day before. Once the meat has cooled, you can cut it into beautiful slices and just return it to the sauce. And then prior to serving, you can reheat it on, very gently on the plaque. The best thing that I can suggest is to plan your side dishes to cook on the plaque also. For our side dishes, we're making some mashed sweet potatoes. And we've actually put one of the little um, racks that come with the pans um, underneath it just to so it doesn't sit directly on the plaque and dry out too much. So the other side dishes we're making uh, cook pretty quickly. We're making some glazed uh, pearl onions with a little bit of olive oil and balsamic vinegar. Then um, we're going to saute some uh, thinly cut Brussels sprouts and um, some heirloom carrots. And then finally, because it is a special feast, we've made some latkes. You know that once the potatoes are shredded, you've got to get all that moisture out and you can't really leave them sitting around. Overall, it's a really delicious feast. As with all cooking, it needs planning. But also when you're cooking with your La Cornu range, be sure to designate a job for each one of your uh, amazing tools. We use the electric oven for the gratin, the gas oven for the beef, and of course our very favorite, the plaque, for all the side dishes.